What is up guys, 2G Wolf here with a another Smash Bros video. This one featuring random shenanigans, and this guy has no respect. Running right up on me in the beginning of the match. Um, while I taunted, because not only were we Bowser, but we picked the same skin, which was interesting. Um, yeah, th this match is just gonna feature everyone, because this is just random shenanigans that I've been having lately. Yeah, when someone makes me mad, I start being very disrespectful. Yeah, see? So, this is kind of what this whole video is going to be, is just random shenanigans, because... I don't know what was on with going on with For Glory, but For Glory has been very weird over the past couple of days. So, this is just going to showcase some of the weirdness that's been going on. Alright, this one here is against a Mewtwo. This one's a little more stylish. Not so much just, hey, this guy's a dick, so I'm going to just side B off stage with him. Look at that. Uh, to teleport on him. And there, forward air. See, this is what I need to learn to do with Mewtwo. That was my fault. Yeah, th th this match was actually just more... just craziness than anything. I was playing pretty bad, too. It wasn't, it wasn't like I was playing my best right now, either. Like, yeah, this is, this is really bad for my Zelda. Especially how I was playing last night when I was playing. Yeah, see? Yeah, he does a little dance. Getting cocky. Go for that forward air. Miss it. Trying to style on him. Miss that, too. Now, right here's where things start turning around. Nope, nope, not here. Got the down air on him, but he landed on stage, sadly. Nope, nope, never mind. Yeah, here's where things turn around. So I get that kill on him. Which was kind of just luck more than anything. Get that. Follow with that. Done. <laughs> See, I was warming up on that match is what was happening. I was warming up. I was trying to remember how to play. Because I hadn't played in a while. But I thought that one was pretty good. Just... I just took two stocks in a matter of like 30 seconds right there. It was pretty cool. <clears throat> Alright, this one's against a Captain Falcon. I've been playing a lot of Zelda lately. Zelda's fun. Especially with the buffs. She's actually pretty good. They buffed her just enough where I feel like she's better now. There we go. Nope. The double spike, and then I wave. <laughs> Oh, it was, it was too good, man. It's too good. Yeah, down throw in there. Should have grabbed him there. Tilt. Forward smash, whip. Down throw. Wait for the air dodge and the up smash. I did a lot of shield pressure. His get up move. Yeah. I'm just gonna throw jabs at him. I'm gonna do that to you. I save him there because I'm a wonderful person. Yeah. Nairu's love counters Falcon Kick. I was kind of shocked when that happened. Yep. And I just style on him because he's not that good. Well, maybe he is that good. I don't know. Maybe he's, in, maybe he's not a Captain Falcon main. Because I know that happens to me every now and then. I'll throw my token on random in For Glory because I don't care. And, uh... I'll end up with a character I can't play, and it, yeah, it, you know, bad stuff happens. This one was hilarious. Oh my god. This one was too funny. Alright, I am not a DDD player by any means, but he's a character I want to learn because he's bottom tier. It's, that, that's how I like to roll. I like learning the low tier characters. So, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to figure out my DDD here. 
Can't throw two Gordos immediately after another. I just keep throwing them out. It was like it was working. Now it now now it can get punished for it. Yeah, that, that was a, that was a stupid move on my part. Like I said, I don't play DDD. I'm not gonna pretend for a moment that I know how to play DDD. But he is someone I want to learn, so that's why I've been putting time in with him. That was a good Zerg. Very nice Zerg. Looking for that up there. I just didn't follow him. I was so mad when I missed that too. Yeah, that was that was, that was kind of cool how he did that one. I was not expecting it. Then I just come in, swing my hammer. Here's me being cute, because that's what I do. Up throw or up smash. Yeah, I should have went for an aerial off of that one. See that that that's lack of playing DDD there. And got me. This was actually a really nice combo there. That was a good string. Expected him to rush in after that, he didn't. Alright, so right here's where I lose the match, alright? So he comes in. He hits me with that charge shot right there. Yep, see? Hits me with the charge shot. At this point, he goes for the disrespect. That's when I know I got him. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Once I saw him go for that disrespect, I just was like, I'm gonna just meteor smash him, because he obviously doesn't know. Oh. Yeah, don't, don't try disrespecting me. It's not okay. It's frowned upon in this establishment. All right. Here I get one of the most stylish kills that I think I've ever gotten with Bowser. One, go! Now, you don't think of Bowser as being stylish, but this, this was pretty cool how I pulled off uh, my last kill in this match. It's like, okay, that needs to stop. I'll just sit on you. Max damage. Up tilt. Looking for the back air, the air dodges. Now this move is amazing. This this down tilt, it covers so much. It was a very unexciting kill there. I promise the next one will be much better. Yeah, get him with that. Go for the forward air. Forward air. Yep. There. Forward tilt. <laughs> Styling and profiling, man. It's like I got a stock to go with. I'm I'm gonna do it. Down B off stage. Uh alright. Charizard oh this one was cool. This one was really cool. I love just standing there. Like, it's like they don't know what to do and you just stand there. You're down. Stay down. Yeah, he got mad after that. You can tell. See, see me back off so he charged, and then I come in and rush him with the side B. That's what you gotta do. That, that was me just totally baiting him to do that. Yeah, no. See, that's that's something I love doing. Is side being back to the stage, and then sweet spot in the ledge as you fall. It's actually a pretty safe option in most case scenarios. Disrespect. <laughs> Uh, the footstool because I can. 
Yep. Bring out your salt shakers, man. Because everything I've been doing in these videos is max salt. <laughs> Alright, so I'm Jigglypuff in this one. And uh, this guy I was playing with, I don't... I. He wanted to team up, but when he said he wanted to team up, I didn't realize it was going to be like this. He just runs over to me, and I start just throwing jabs in, and then he kills himself. And at that point, I realized, oh, I see what he's doing. So watch this. I punch him, and he jumps off stage. Punch him, and he runs off stage. In that first kill, he actually gave the Little Mac. I guess the Little Mac was the last one to touch him. Yeah, at this point... He's like, okay, okay, at this point I realize, okay, we're going to actually keep fighting. We're not just going to keep doing that. After all, we don't want to, you know, people get mad at us. Like I said, Poor Glory was a weird place like the other night. It really was. Yeah, look at look at Link taunt. He taunts. And I'm like, no, you're dead. Oh, check out this kill right here. Yeah, see Link's taunt and thinking he got the kill there too. This Link is so cocky. So cocky. Meanwhile he doesn't realize that. You know, this mess has been giving me kills. At this point, I just want to pull off rests on people. I think he just dies again. I'm like, okay. And then I just taunt, because I know I've won at this point. So bad. It was so bad. It's like, what was this guy doing? Sad part is, is I technically would have won that match, even if um, he wasn't giving me kills. Like, I, I, I did the math. You, he gives he gives a kill to Little Mac instead of me, so if anything he ended up helping the Little Mac, and then the Link I traded kills on, and then I got a second kill where Link didn't because I kept stealing his kills. So this one was hilarious. So Wii Fit Trainer is one of those characters that I'm trying to learn right now. Yeah, that that was me goofing up there. Yeah, the Wii Fit Trainer is one of those characters that I want to learn. Once I get really good with Wii Fit Trainer, you can expect to see some Wii Fit Trainer videos from me. It's just, it's a character I want to learn because no one plays this Wii Fit Trainer. So, I, I've taken it upon myself to learn Wii Fit Trainer and become good. So, hopefully I can master the Wii Fit Trainer. Get some cool stuff going on here. There we go. And that will be the first stock right there. Now, as you can tell, I'm terribly losing this match right now. Terribly. I don't realize why that one hit me. My hitbox should have been really low considering I was crouching. Now watch this. This is hilarious. Nope, gimped. Gimped. Oh. <laughs> That's why you don't give up until the very, very end. Because you never know when something like that will give you an opportunity to win. It was hilarious. I, I laughed so hard after that match. Alright. <clears throat> This one I'm gonna be Ganondorf. Three, two, one, go! 
I'm just standing there. Alright. Ready for this? Get some damage on him. And spike. Alright. What was that? 13 seconds, he's dead. It's all it takes with Ganondorf. 13 seconds and you can win. Now check this out. Scoops. 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 Oh, and he dodged that one. Oh, look at that tech chase, though. That was a ton of damage, too. Yep. Look at that, that turnaround smash. That was beautiful. Yeah. I love Ganondorf, but I thought that tech chase was really cool. How I just kept side being them. It's like, you're going to roll this way, now you're going to roll this way. And then I had the roll on the other one, but he spot dodged, which kind of upset me. But that would have been great if I just kept side being all day. Alright, this one's Bowser. I've been having a lot of fun with Bowser. Mainly because of that. Yep, see, this guy, he was doing something weird. It's like, what is he doing? There I am trying to be cute. He keeps you grabbing the ledge, so I know he's, like, vulnerable. You know what I mean? I'm trying to take advantage of that. Yep, yeah, and at that point, I'm like, oh, this is what this guy's doing. All right. You want to play that game? Fine. Yep, yeah, get some air in there. Just, just trying to rack him up on damage is all I'm trying to do here. Yeah, there's some more damage for you. There's a scoop. And he goes straight back to the ledge. I'm like, wow, this guy. Yep, you can see what I'm going for here now. Yep, and I get it. Like I said, I don't know what was with people the other night in Full Glory, but they were all just weird. They were all just doing weird crap. And this is Mario here for the Max Salt in the final video. Against a Falco. I don't think I need to tell you what's going, going on here. All I know is this guy rage quit right afterwards. Like right after this match, he was like, nope, I'm done. Yep. And the taunt, because why not? You know, yeah, look at see he comes rushing in goes straight for the attacks he's mad yeah I deserve that one so I get for rolling back air straight on the back air there jab off stage reflect <laughs> all right guys so I hope you all enjoyed this video um, this is just some of the weird shenanigans I've had going on in For Glory lately, and uh, hopefully I'll be bringing you a Bowser video in the near future. Anyway, this is 2G Wolf, and I will catch you guys later. Out.